Welcome back to Final Fantasy XIV Dawn Trail. Well, we're back. I'm enjoying myself in this game. I got done with work. I just finished eating my dinner. I'll be lying down in about an hour and a half to two hours. I'll make it two hours. <coughs> Cough out of nowhere. So, I want to do a quick warm-up uh, today before we start with the story, and I hope you indulge me a bit. I'm going to do a couple of battles. So, do forgive me. I want to start doing my Wondrous Tales. What I'm going to do is... It's easier to do these if you're a high level, like at the moment I am, solo. So what I'm going to do is come to your duty finder right here. You're going to go to this open duty finder settings and go unrestricted. That's all. All right, now here comes the fun part. Wondrous Tales wants Titan, Ramu, Shiva, and even Odin. Oh my. We'll start with Odin. He's a quick one. Now I am soloing Odin at level 94. Uh, the thing is also my HP and all that's going to be increased because I have the power of the Echo, as you can see. Right here. All right, uh, get ready to watch Odin just melt. Just don't get hit by that. It still instantly almost kills you. And that's Odin. Before he does his big move and annihilates me. I'll sell those. I don't need his armor. I got the set in the glamour dresser. And just like that. Another seal. Now we're gonna do Titan. These are gonna take not even a few. Yeah. It's these are really quick. Titan. <clears throat> I for can be the fastest if you can get him before he goes in invincibility. Leviathan is the slowest. Titan is the second slowest because, well, he has two phases of which you cannot hurt him, like here. Because he keeps jumping away. Alright. And now he's gonna come down again. I'm not. I'll pop this just for fun. And now his heart. And just like that, we're done with that. You know what, for the heck of it, you, 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 and you. Goodbye, Titan. By the way, if you want the mounts from these, which are horses, and you, the final horse you get is actually quite beautiful, and I'll show you actually real quick. Uh, if you get all the horses, which are of those, you, that's Ifrit, that is uh, Garuda, Titan, Shiva, Ramu, and oh, I messed one up. That's Leviathan, that's Shiva. Then you get the special boy called Kirin, and oh, I can't fly here. He grows wings, it sounds beautiful, and it's the Final Fantasy prelude theme. Absolutely lovely. Oh, give me a second. I'm gonna shuffle these because it's like a uh, bingo in a way. You want to get tic tac toe and all that. I've never gotten two lines, I've only got one in that. This looks okay. I'll keep it for now. All right. Now it's time for Ramu, which, if you're not careful, I ah, should be fine. Like I said, these are just quick, it's like a minute, not even each. Oh, yeah. Not gonna lie, I didn't mean to pop that. Yeah, okay, um... I accidentally pressed, uh, my one thing. You, Super bullied. Bullied. Don't press that by accident. Sucks. Me. All right, now, move, move, move. That's one. That's two. Nope, don't attack him. All right, I have to wait. And there it is. And... Oh, you're alive. Yeah. 
He's invincible. Do not do anything stupid. There we go. Ooh, I have chances of getting two lines, but it has to behave. So if you're wondering, a coffer with a weapon on it means you put a class on and you will get that weapon of that type. The thing is, it has to be during that expansion or yeah. All right, last one is Shiva, who honestly has the best battle theme in the Realm Reborn. I barely remember anything about the story in Realm Reborn because this is the point where I got burnt out. When I originally played, of course. Let her summon her brethren. Okay, Shiva. All right, I get it. You want me dead. All right, here, let me, uh... That didn't go the way I planned. Oh well. I still need Shiva. Damn it. So close. I have to shuffle. No, shuffle. There's a chance, but small chance. One more shuffle. Damn. All right. I'll deal with these coffers and stuff my own time. Don't worry. I'm just picking them up now some later. You can make 100 gil. All right. Uh, Coil Bahamut. Final Coil Bahamut. And Doc Astok. Which I know where you are, you're Stormblood. Uh, no, wait, sorry, it's Heaven's Ward, not Stormblood. What am I thinking? There you are. The guy who ha has a, actually a really good battle theme. It's unique if you like throat singing. Death to the song of a ringing steel. Alright, there's a chance I might be able to kill him before anything bad happens. We'll see. Okay, he just increases the fence. This might be a one cycle. Come on. Before prelude and liberation. Got it. DNC second phase. Goodbye. Man, I got the musk. I got two guns today. Nice. Oh, yeah, that's basically how I do these. I know people do them another, the same way also. I have a chance of getting one. I have seven. I can get that one, this one, this one. Heck, I need one here and I get one there. That'd be awesome. All right. Um, is there one I want to do? I could do bind Binding Coil Bahamut turn five. That's the one I'm thinking of. It's absolutely not happening. Okay, I want you. Go away. I, it's a regular turn five, right? Binding. Oh, let me see. The Binding Coil Bahamut turn five. Yes, okay. So the reason why I'm doing this is also you get a lot of experience for doing the run wondrous trail to, uh, tales. Okay, uh, we're in Bahamut. Oh, that's Bahamut's claw, by the way. If you're wondering how big Bahamut is, that's his claw. The right hand of Bahamut, which leads immediately, I think, to the boss? Winatana. Hey, how you doing? Hey, listen. The war is over, we don't have to do this anymore. Okay. See? It works. 
now. I'll grab these. Why not? Alright, that's another one down. Now I just need to do final coil of Bahamut turn one. There's one I absolutely do not want to do. Because it is nigh impossible solo, but I've done it. And that is, if I remember correctly, is it... Ah, yes, the second coil Bahamut turn four. This one's nigh impossible solo, but I did it somehow. Don't ask me how, and I don't want to show. But yeah, I'm just doing this as a quick warm-up. No, it's going to be about 12 minutes of your time in the video, but... Eh. Oh, man, look at this. Now, this looks cool. All right. Oh, no, I am surrounded. Whatever shall I do? All right, I'll just do this. All right, time to... Ah, you know what? I'm just going to do it the quick way. If they see you, they activate the alarm and spawn enemies. But if you kill them silently, or just don't get seen... That's one. Oh. And that's two. You might think, oh, Binding Coil Bahamut must be extremely easy at this level. Yes, except that one battle. Heck, even the Bahamut and... I'm not gonna say what the other fight is, but those are easy. But that one, that one's not. All right, let's do this. Oh yeah, this is the one that summons the children. Can I hurt you? Yes. Okay, man, I can sure. All right, and that's that. Finding Goyle is done. And, wow, I did not get tic-tac-toe. That is a shame. All right. I'll sell all those later. Now, what I'll do is I will turn my wondrous tails in. I'll do it now, yeah. So I can teleport back here and I can get a new journal maybe or is it too early yet I think it's you get new journals on Tuesdays I believe I'm about to find out and then I might empty my inventory because that is a mess but yeah uh, I extremely doubt Gunbreaker has any equipment so we're immediately going Paladin and I'm opening all the coffers There we go. By the way, the Allegan Blade isn't too bad. I actually like it. Now, let, let no, not that. Uh, save. Let's see what it looks like with the shield. There it is. So this is the shield. The shield's a little tiny and all that, but yeah. All right, we're just gonna get all the weapons for Paladin. Not because it's you get more money because there's a shield and all that. It doesn't work like that. Paladin equipment actually costs less because he has two items. And there's the chest piece for the hive. Oh, sorry, the Allegan armor, not Hive. What am I thinking of? I'm gonna throw you away. I don't need you anymore. And, oh yeah, let me get this. There's, that's Ramu's weapon, which honestly, I quite like. And there's the shield also. It's not bad. But yeah, let's sell it all, which would be to the trader first. I know how the Oath Gauge works. Alright, it's gonna take a second. Uh, everything on this page I keep. Everything here, I sell. I have to move these closer, I have to move far. If you're like, oh god, you're selling those things and you can make equipment out of them. Yeah, and if I want it, I will grind them on my own time. But you only give, like, a couple hundred for these. Oh yeah, let me show you something when I'm done with this, by the way. Oh, I'm at three mil. Perfect. I... 
So I'm saying it now, I plan on not spending money this expansion and being an idiot and buying equipment off the shops. By the way, Shiva's weapons are amazing, and I know that because I have her statue over there. And she has these exact oh man, yeah. Uh, she has that same exact shield and weapon she uses it in the battle. I don't think we got to that phase, but she does. And get rid of Diamond Dust, yes. And I'll keep the olden card to go to the MGP trader at the gold saucer which that's another day i already used more than enough of your time doing just daily things that i haven't done in a while oh right 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 wait um warrior needs a catch up sage is doing good gunbreaker and sage i'm not using it for because that's going to go with the story that's going to go on my dailies Scholar works with Summoner, so I'm not worried because Summoner is my Steam Deck thing. I might just do this with Paladin. Alright, yay! Here, have my journal. I will take this for 10,000. Or gets it? No. There we go. That's a decent amount of experience. Look at that. Oh, yep, okay. Uh, Tuesdays. Okay, it's not until tomorrow. Yeah, let's... let's Tuesdays. But yeah, that is how journals work. That's why I always have it here. All right. I'm sorry for taking up your time. I really wanted to get those done and what better way and just take you with me. It only took you 14 minutes plus the selling. Yeah, not bad. And I finished a journal in one go. Minus the level 50 dungeon one night. Oh, yeah. Um, oh, I, nah, I'll do it later. I was going to turn music back on and fly this, but no. All right, back to story. A father's grief. Hey guys, I'm back. Are you gonna give me another piece of armor? Right, the footwear. Cause right now I am actually liking this. I might give it to my warrior when I level it up. Okay. The father's, a father's grief. The next feat awaits. An alpha node would have you on the road as soon as possible. Here we go. Seeing, uh, seeing as we now face the penul penul penultimate objective of the right, it will be wise to travel to Mamook and undertake the feat of brotherhood without delay. Wise, yes, but impossible. The Tiembek Ti Ti Traverse, which connects the upper force to the Jatika heartland, heartland, is still impassable. Oh, is it from the storm? Is there no other route? I'm afraid not. Work to clear the path is underway, though. So I'm hopeful we can resume our journey soon. Then let us... Then, then let us each use this time as we see fit. Well, I just used that time. I, for one, would like to explore the village, villages surround... Surround... The, explore the villages surrounds. If Aaronville would oblige me for with a tour... Very well, I have no other engagements. Man, don't you love work after work, me? I totally can read. Then I will come with you. If only to prove that I am capable of keeping my own footing. Uh-huh. Though I shouldn't rejoice in our delay, it does afford me an opportunity to look into my grandfather's purported vi pur visit to Yachtel. Oh, that's right. Ma Mabalu did say something about a foreign mage coming through here decades back, didn't she? I'll come with you. Oh, I'll use me by myself. Oh, never mind. Want to join us, Peter? Yeah, sure. Let us run. Uh, reconvene. Jeez, brain, you're not working today. Let us reconvene here after our respective diver diversions. As I recall, the merchant met my grandfather at the market in Yachtel some 20 years ago. Any who might reliably remember him must therefore be at least middle-aged. Let's make inquiries where we can. Also, I made a mistake the other day. I think you probably forgot, but in case someone is watching these, I thought Gullif would be on the, st the stone where uh, all those warriors who fought Villa Gamarda were the stone that the uh, giants put up in uh, to honor them. 
But I now remember, and I remember last time I never mentioned anything. He came 20 years ago, that was 80 years ago, so he wouldn't have. I've been confusing things. I thought he was with them when it was tw he's 20 years before us, not 80. Says a hundred percent. My bad. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. I hope someone in Ickbrox knows something. This fellow looks promising. Definitely older than I. A foreign mage, 20 years ago. I'm gonna sip my drink while you were thinking. Yes, I remember him. It's not often we get visitors from across the salt, let alone those traveling with infants. A baby girl, as I recall. I only saw him passing by. Passing? Mind if anyone were to know more. Anyone were to know more. I wager it'd be Hamu Rock. He, al he was already Zabrak Rex then. A baby girl? It couldn't have been. Thank you, sir. The information was very helpful. It's not Kryl, is it? Because that means her grandfather came back, I think. Or he get... No. I don't know. Kryl seems to know something. I don't currently. So, Hamurunk has been... Zabrax, Zabrax Rax over for over 20 years. That was before even I was born. How old are you? Man, when I get the Encyclopedia of Yours, Your Volume 4, I got a feeling you're gonna be like, what, 18, 19? If it, you're not 20? This may be the very lead I was hoping for. Hey, man, let's talk. Hmm. Hello again. Do you require assistance? A foreign mage passed through Ikbrox roughly 20 years ago, possibly carrying a young child. Do you remember him? Uh-oh, that face says something. Why do you ask me this? Who is this man to you? He may have been my grandfather, and I wish to know what brought him here. Your grandfather? Not by blood, but he is family nonetheless. A poor mage did indeed visit Ikbrox, Master Gelf. Oh, yep, we got a name drop. Okay, this is gonna sound weird, but when Walk Lamont makes that face, she has kitty face. With the kitty mouth and all that, and the squinty eyes. It's adorable. Okay, so far as his identity is concerned, I trust you are satisfied. Very. More than that, however, I cannot say. Why not? A vow of silence? Or not the right time? I simply cannot. I beg your forgiveness and understanding. Very well. I will not press. Thank you for confirming his presence here. The rest I will discover myself. Out of more general curiosity, I have another question. They say the Yokoi once dwelled in these forests. Where was that exactly? General curiosity, indeed. But yes, before they withdrew in Okapaka, some five centuries ago, the Yakoi claimed Yaktel as their own. Many of their architectural remains can be found in the lower forest, the Jatiki Heartland. Then that's where they must have had their visions. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Right, because there, there was a quarry nearby, and honestly, I think something was there that made him hallucinate, but everyone having the same hallucination is odd. Thank you, the air, that answers much and, much and more. I understand what it means to long for one's family. So believe me when I say that, though my position forbids me from aiding you further, I wish you nothing but success. By helping the third promise find the Golden City, you will surely find the answers to your questions. It's 
speaking of which, I have a quarry of my own for, for you, Bader. May I request a moment of your company? All right. You two can go on ahead. Go on. We'll wait for you. Oh, never mind. What's on your mind? Let's talk to you. Go and see what Hanu Rock needs. So in order to get my answers, I need to find the Golden City. Well, that was my intent from the first. I'll do everything in my power to make it happen. I know you will, Cryo. Thank you for obliging me. First, let us head to the Seno Sen Senoit behind this village. Listen, Cryo, I played your, uh, with your character in Final Fantasy V. Even though I know you're different from that one, I know you can handle yourself. Hey, give me my boots! Okay, what were you here for? It was my intention to see you off without saying anything, but Mistress Kryle's plea has softened my resolve. Hmm. As leader of our community, I'm gladdened to see that the Third Promise has surrounded herself with such compassionate and trustworthy companions. Would you tell me of her journey thus far? Well, we killed things, cooked things, uh, we're on a bow, you know. Oh, he really liked that part. Is that so? It seems the right has been a great source of learning and growth for Wak Lamont. And for Kona also, it seems. It does me well to hear that. Are you her father? My daughter will... Oh... Oh, wait. Or is your child dead? A daughter would be about her age. Girls are rarely born amongst the Z Z Zabral. So when she arrived, the village was elated. Such joy I felt when I first held her. And the pain when I found her at the bottom of a cenote. Three years old. An accident, it was said. But I knew better. She had been pushed. Oh. So we never caught them. A suspicious figure was seen fleeing towards the Jatiki heartland. Towards Mamouk. Once bitter enemy, enemies, the Mamouja and the Zabral have learned to live in peace. But who could doubt the intent of such rehensible act? By targeting a child who would one day lead her people, the criminal sought to undermine the future of the Zabral. I was determined not to let them succeed, and so I let the memory of my daughter die in that cenote, and gave her into a, the care of the one person I knew who could protect her. Dawn's servant, Galu Jaja. Oh my god! Though she was born to lead the Zabral, fate had a greater plan for Wak Lamont. You're her dad! I- th Oh! Only Dawn's servant and I know the truth. But I must now take you into my confidence for one reason. If the villain who attempted to murder my daughter was indeed of Mamouk, then Rancor toward the Zabral still burns. I was caught off guard once. I will not suffer the same tragedy again. And so I ask you, not as Dawn's servant's elector, but as a father, to watch over the Third Promise. Defend her from her enemies that may be lurking in the shadow. Will you do this for me? I'm actually shocked I found her father. He, man, his story was like, oh, her, his daughter died. Oh, it's, nope, never, for him, his daughter is dead. Kind of. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Same thing he said. Will you hear my question? Answer me plainly. Dress me now as the ruler of Tilio, but a, a concerned father. <laughs> Both of them care for her in their own way. Suffice it to say, this conversation must remain between us. Pray breathe not a word of this to anyone. Well, I can't talk, so you're in luck. 
I have no voice. Well, I did not actually expect that. That's gonna be a sad story about how his daughter died. I did at first. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Damn it. Should have guessed. Oh, whoops, didn't want to do that. Alright, what's the footwear look like? Alright, this outfit's actually coming together very nice. I think headwear and gloves are next. Yeah. Also, uh, can you give me earrings? I need earrings and another ring. But yeah. Oh, good. I got gloves coming up. Taking a stand. Hamu Ruck stands quietly, his expression one of old pain. Probably remembering when his daughter fell, thinking she was dead and all that. Recalling the past has rendered me emotional. I require a moment of, to compose myself, but please do not keep the third promise waiting. So that idiot's going to try and start a war between the two tribes, isn't he? Hmm. I don't know. Like I said, the story's gonna pick up at some point, because right now, I'm enjoying it, but something's gonna happen that's gonna drive everything forward. Because right now, we're... Uh, we're going out of 10 miles... Like, out of 10, we're going about a 3 or 4. It's a nice, slow drive. We're enjoying the view and seeing everything. Someone's about to put a bunch of coal in the furnace and throw us right to 9. I don't think it'll be 10 yet. Been speaking with Hamu Ruck, have you? I have. Hey, your dad said hi. Uh-oh. Duty calls. Commence battle for taking a stand. Alright. I... Is Baku Jaja about to fight us and attempt to kill her? And then her father rushes in to save her and dies or something? I'm trying to think of what could be happening right now. And if you noticed, it's the the area in that picture was the picture of the battlefield where the two tribes were always fighting that was burned and ashen. I'm curious right now what's about to happen. I mean, the music's happy. I know happy things aren't about to happen. You're back. So what did Hamu Ruck want? Um, adoption papers. It's all right. You don't have to s have to say. More importantly, the Tian Beck Traverse still isn't clear yet. Something about even more rocks. Then I think I'll take the opportunity to rest. All that cooking and preparing for it has worn me out. Yeah, probably should do that too. Who's watching her? A nap does sound tempting. Wait. A moment, promise. Here's one of Bakul Jaja's. What do you want? I've come to fetch you. You're welcome to refuse, but know that it would be most unwise. And why is that? I'm sure your sultan's friend has an idea. What do you think? I guess we're going. And they say house cats don't come when called. Follow me, promise. Yeah, you're making my character pissed. You don't want to do that. It's several cutscenes, so I have no control over. I take it this is gonna be voiced. If so, I'm having more drink. It's just coffee. What is the meaning of this? And just how far do you plan on taking us? Eh, 
Ambush, and there's Baku Jaja. Shocker, I know. Oh, they captured her father. Omorok! Baku Jaja, you snake! If you want my keystone so badly, you'll deal with me and me alone. Leave the Elector out of this. <laughs> is that all you think he is? Foolish kitty. This man is the reason we are here. I thought this would be a secret longer than it was, not gonna lie. Take a good look at him. Go on. Look. Surely you recognize your real father. Don't believe us? Then ask your trusted Selsward. He heard it straight from the old man's mouth. Is it true? Is Homoruk my... Your silence says it all. Now that you understand the situation, let's see those keystones. I'll even let you fight for them. Just you. And me. Ooh, is this gonna be instance battle where I'm controlling her? If that adventure attempts to interfere, I'll kill the old man myself. Oh no, she's mad. You despicable, heartless fiend! Kinsman or no, I won't stand for you taking hostages. Come on then. You want to fight? I'll give you a fight. Oh, such heroic caterwauling promise. I'm shaking. Guard our hostage well. We wouldn't want to attempt any thoughts of rescue. By the by, Housecat, they've been instructed to put down Papa Dearest when you lose. Hopefully he settled his affairs. <laughs> Man, when they smile, it is ugly. Don't worry. I'm not losing to the likes of him. Instanced battle. Oh, what are you waiting for, you blessed bastards? It's two against one. Don't tell me you're scared. I know I didn't hear you right. Hmm. You should back down before you get hurt. <laughs> You think this weakling could hurt me? Yes. I kill you, kill you, kill you all! Don't look away, salt. I want you to watch as I tear your beloved promise to shreds! All right, this is an instance battle. Hey, eyes on me. Now explain the what they are. Cat, remember? So, starting in Stormblood, we had these battles where we take control of NPCs and fight as them. And I'll say it again. I'm not losing to the likes of you. I think we can take a guess who I'm controlling for this battle. I'm going to become Don's servant, and I will protect my people. I'm going to be playing warrior for a bit as walk them up. This could be interesting. So usually their key bindings are sim more simplified than regular. 
Oh, wait. In fact, in this battle, oh, this is new. In this battle, you will play as Wakul Mug. Though skillful combat, through skillful combat, Wakul Mug will gain resolve she needs to unleash powerful limit breaks. Not only do these attacks deal great damage, they will recover HP. Use them early and often to emer emerge victorious. Oh, that's new. Oh, I got the hiccups down, that sucks. All right, let me see my buttons before I do anything. All right, oh, this side's useless, just ignore it. All right, so I'm using, all right, these, this is the regular combo. Okay. Okay. Increase, okay. Okay. All right, um, I don't know. Oh, wait, wait, do I need a limit break? Okay, no, it's right there. All right, let's see how well this goes. Come, you mangy house cut, so I can rip you to pieces. I don't have a defense spell. Oh, ow. I'll cut you to shreds. Oh, wait, she's gaining. My magic should be more than enough for Miss Nugans. My HP is not looking well. Um, hello. You know, I'll make you eat that. You know what? I'm gonna just stand right here. Damn it. No more tricks, Bakul Chaja. We're settling this here and now. Still playing the part of the brave warrior. Oh, I'm dead. I live. Help me. This is going very badly. I am sure I... Oh. is no longer amusing me, brother. Here we go. This right has taught me so much. Yes. There we go. About my nation, my people, and myself. I really like her moveset. Uh, I don't know what the green means. Help me. Is it... Oh, wait. I can take a guess now. Yep. What? Can't keep up. I can't sprint. Oh no, this is bad. Oh wait. Uh -huh. Okay. Hey, guess what? Resolve, baby. How do you like this? Uh oh. Kitty, 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 kitty. I hate to say it, your glowing red doesn't help you. I finally understand what it means to live in peace. Yeah, to talk greet this. each day with safety oh, wow. and happiness. It's time we finished her. Oh, they are hurting me right now. That roar this brings me right now. This is the end for you, kitten. Alright. Resolve. Baku Shaja. Is this a pushback? No, all right, I'll be right here. Thank you. I tried to use a range attack with my key set up, but I forgot I'm not playing as Gunbreaker. Not enough to play Give me a second. Of Dawn's servant. I must carry on Papa's legacy, his love for our people. 
man, if this is Warrior's new moveset, really nice, but no, it's not. The moveset's usually been... Oh. Look, I'll just stand over here doing my thing. protect my people's happiness to the last. Uh -oh. That's why there's no way I'll ever lose to the light of you. What? But that was everything I had. Uh oh, you're in trouble. I can't stand it anymore. Attack! Oh, I got moved. This is our fight. Stay out of it. You bring shame upon us. Oh, oh, oh dear. Oh. You think we care about your stupid pride? This is for Mamuk! We cannot lose! Come on, you can take me out! Oh, oh. The great Bakul Jaja needs help, I see. Send your whole army! You still won't win! Oh god, I'm moving. I'm moving, gang. Don't worry. I will prove that my ally is right to believe in me. Such confidence. She wasn't like this before. <laughs> you go first. You're annoying. That's you. I'm the fish with one break. I'm saving you last. There we go. Goodbye, Baku Shasha. Woo! Man, at the end, they were throwing all those AoEs at me. I'm like, I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, look at Low Kitty has claws. Now, I want my stone back. And my father. Oh, never mind. I just we just dropped them randomly. Cool. And we have it back. Also, I love how stones. I reclaim what you stole. I love how stones tablets fell out because that just means he's <laughs> out. The oh. Yep. oh God, this. Be. You haven't grown as a person. How could that puny house cut beat all of us. Hmm. You've caused nothing but trouble with your dirty tricks. Threatening the Hanu Hanu, releasing Vali Armanda, harassing me is one thing, but you've endangered too many innocents. No more, Bakul Jaja. I will not stand for it. If you even think of tormenting my people again, you will answer to me. You'll lose one of your two heads. Uh-oh. No. No. Huh? Wait. 
What? <clears throat> and he goes and forgets he had the way blocked. What was that? What? It was... That was his doing? It was a bunch of pots. What? The oh. only part left in the saga is the Lay of the Brotherhood. In oh, Mamuk. there were the rocks he left in the path. The plan was to force you here so we could take the rest of your keystones. So that's what he was up to. But, uh, should you be telling us this? <sighs> what does it matter? You've beaten us. It's over. We'll release the hostage. Yeah, okay, I was really confused. I thought there were like pots or something. No, he kept blocking it. Those little rocks in the pathway. I was really confused. I'm like, what was that? Hey, look at that. Your daughter held her own. She doesn't need me anymore. I'm sorry. I was careless. Are you all right? So what Bakul Jaja said about you and me. I... Ha. But to single-handedly defeat Bakul Jaja, you truly are the Dawn Servant's daughter. It has been my honor to bear witness to your journey. Promise. Oh, they have similar eyes. I just noticed that. Promise. Yes. That's what I am. I'm Gulul Jaja's daughter and Tuli Hyolal's next dawn servant. Come on, let's rejoin the others. Yeah, I got feeling the pathway's gonna get cleared real quickly. <laughs> if what I saw is an indicator. Man, she put the fear of God in him. Well, which God? There's 12, isn't there? And then we killed them all. Long story. <laughs> It was a decent raid. The armor sets were nice. Especially the tank. Alright, well. Bakujana is not going to be bothering us anymore. Yeah, thought he... Okay. Did something happen while we were away? There was a certain satisfied air about you. Yeah. Aaronville's tour was both educational and exciting. I hope we can persuade him to conduct another in the lower forest. I love how they're like, oh man, that exploration and forest thing was great. And Crowell's like, oh man, I slept well. And, and everyone's like, what happened to you guys? For what? For as weathered as our promise looks, she's positively glowing with confidence. What in the world happened? She shum she summoned Big Rockwall. Rockwall win. The twins ran me from one end to of the Udahama horizon to the other. Asking about everything of remote interest along the way. Seems we were last to return. I'm glad everyone made it back safely. Thank you for having... Thank you for having faith in me. Keeping out of the fight, even when it got dirty, couldn't have been easy for you. But Baku Jaja won't be the last person to threaten those I care about. I wanted to prove to myself that I could stand up to such villains, even when I stand alone. Which isn't to say I won't ask for your help when I need it, of course. I know better than that now. All right, got the gloves. Oh, I'm not equipping them yet. We got a thing going. The second problem is Kona. The passage to Mamuk remains blocked. For now, all we can do is try to rest and recover. Perhaps with a meal, as my sister would no doubt suggest. 
Shall we borrow the kitchens and prepare some Shibruk Pibil? <laughs> So, thou hast taken a liking to the dish. As we learn to appreciate the unfamiliar, tis only natural that we develop new affinities. There is no shame in this. But there is an ignorance. I had barely considered what the people of Tuli Yolal hold dear. What hopes they harbor for the future. Our nation is built upon the bonds that Father forged during his journey across Tural. But so single-minded have I been in my advocacy of foreign innovations that I failed to understand Ooh, my own people. There we go, Kona got there. Could someone who struggles to connect with the populace ever make a worthy dawn servant? And they're happy with what they're hearing right now. To understand and connect with people is by no means easy. But there is something you can do to pave the way. Let them see you for who you really are. What makes you laugh and cry and rage? That sort of honesty is the first step towards mutual understanding and connection. Understanding begets fellowship. As my father said. And yet, what you suggest does not come naturally to me. I, too, have found it difficult to speak from the heart. In thy struggles, I see mine own, painful in their familiarity. Yet frightening though it may feel, if we are to move forward, we must indeed take that first step. Dispense with pretense and simply be. Do you remember when you first approached us, and we asked you why you wanted to become Dawn Servant? You said you wished to use the knowledge you acquired in Charlian for your country, and in doing so, repay your father for the opportunities he afforded you. What won me over was not your ambition, but your motivation. So let your people know this. And in time, they'll come to support you as we do. You can't hide behind that stoicism forever. Very well then. I will make a greater effort to be myself. By not being my usual self, so much. Man, I wish I had an expansion with just these three, because, man, that was good. Well, I guess the little cutscenes we get with them is enough. Still, man, I almost like them more than our group. Gloves! Alright! We almost have the full set. Just need... The headwear. And speaking of the headwear, let's hope it looks good. Into the traverse. Walk Lamont wishes to know how traversable the Tiabek traverse is. I don't know. Traversable enough? Well, Faku Jaja kind of. You put the fear of something in him, and I think we're good now. So, what's the state of the Tiabek traverse? Still being cleared, I assume. Hamu Ruck said he would notify us as soon as work was done. Then perhaps now would be a good time to consider how we might reclaim Wakum. Um, 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 we're good on that. It's fine, Cryo. You can relax. Re reclaim Wakum Mud Still and Keystone. The next feat will be our last after all. Oh, already got back. 
What? When? Not to mention how. This is Baku Jaja we're talking about. Yeah, we already did that. It's fine. Oh, hi, Dad. Was that him? No, never mind. The hair's not right. And he does have a mustache. So I taught him a lesson and took my keystone back. You bested Baku Jaja in single combat? Bravo. On top of that, he summoned minions. <laughs> what can I say? I had some good friends to encourage and cheer me on. Ah, there he is. I mistook you for someone else. There you are. Our excavators have contacted me with news of their success. The Tiabek Tia Traverse is now safe for travel. Then we can finally make it to Mamuk. Come to think of it, isn't Baku isn't that isn't it Baku Jaja's home? We can only hope its residents don't share his winning personally. If it is indeed the city where the Kedaram first met the Dawn Servant, surely some civ civility awaits us. I would not be so certain. It is true the Dawn Servant received Kedaram and Mamuk, and was instrumental in establishing our, of friendly relations between the Zabral and the Mamuja. But since that time, most of the Mamuja who supported his peace, his peace have left their city in favor of abiding in the capital. Leaving all the ones who want war and someone else in the city. What remains is a cloister of Mamuk. And while these traditionalists do not take up arms against us, neither do they bear great love for outsiders. Fun fact, I know I say cloister because I play FF10 a lot and cloister trials is everywhere. Whatever they're like, the people of Mamuk are also of Tiliol. Tiliola. Tiliola. If I'm to be a Dawn Servant, it is my job to know them first of all. Well, we'll be on our way then. I'm glad I could learn more where I came from and eat so much jibu pipi. Besides, thank you for everything, Hamurak. Till next time, take care. First, we make our way across the Zobrit Cinderfield, southeast. All right. So. Eh. Oh, wait. I'll say what I want to say after. How have you grown indeed? Ah, uh, you have two proud fathers. But yeah, um, what I was gonna say is, there's two things. One, where's Astinian? He came here, where is he? And two, I'm about to hit level 95 and we're about to get the last keystone. What's the last half of this expansion about? I'll do these on my own time. And by own time, I mean I will record them. All right, I'm, gonna, I'm about to do something so you can hear it. Light music will mount it, apply. Oh yeah, they're a distance away. All right, get ready to hear some beautiful music. All right, so we have to go all the way down there. It's even better when you can fly because you don't hear the hooves, but still. Any Final Fantasy player knows this song. Oh, hello. I mean, I can help, I guess. No, stop, stop. Game. No, no, no. That was weird. And that's why I usually... Yeah, so if I have the steam overlay on, 
And what happened there is you can't see my steam overlay when I open it. I don't think so. But my steam overlay's on. Uh, there's a certain button combination I get to figure out. Oh, hey, nice. Level up. I'm level 95, but there's a certain button combination that if I hit, it will bring up my overlay. Let me see. Yeah, overlay doesn't appear for you. And that's what happened there. That's why I kept running straight. I need to remember what the combination is, because sometimes if I do like a tab or whatever, it just decides to open, which is why I have the overlay off. But then I turned it on, because I do want to take screenshots of this expansion. Mostly for my, you know, thumbnails and all that, but... So I want to have more than one thumbnail for this. Anytime something big... Oh, hey, nice. Anytime I have a... You don't start with me. I will end your furry little light. But yeah, this mount is just a nice... Mm. If you like Final Fantasy music, this is the one you want. Well, I'm done with it for now. Oh, what other mount do I have that I can show you? Um... Let me see. I mean, I could use the one I got last expansion that I think is absolutely lovely. But we are also going to turn off the music because the music in this place is wonderful. Oh, damn it. I wanted to take you the Ratiki great. great... Oh, wood. I'll show you their theme. Ah, oh, that's a layer thing. In there, and then we're going to Mamook. Oh, right, 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 right. One second, we're stopping. Actually, no, you can keep running. I'm gonna try and find this though. Where was it? No, no, no. Where was the damn thing? I know you're here. Ah, collection. There it is. My aether compass. I knew it was somewhere. God damn it, I'm gonna have to do that in my own time. Trial? I wonder if the first and second promises have already arrived in Mamook. Well, I tell you, he, he's out. After seeing that battlefield, I find it miraculous that the dancer was able to negotiate a peace. If Baku Jaja ran in this direction after losing the Wakuma, then he undoubtedly was returning to Mamook. I filled my bag with Jabu Pipu before we left, but I'm down to my last serving already. God damn it, Walk. I'm gonna call her Waka. Waka Waka. The, tra the Traverse will bring us straight into Jitiki Heartland, but remember? Remember how you insisted this forest is green? Yes, because the forest is green. I gotta feel I'm gonna walk this. Oh, I see a blue hue up ahead. Everything's about to change, isn't it? Because I saw it when we were entering in that cutscene and showed you the forest and everything. I'm just, you know, this is so much easier, everybody. Wait, you're up there? Oh. Hmm. I'm mad. All right, I have no one to blame but myself for that. Maybe. Yeah, I can see the blue from here. Cryo! What are you doing here? This path is quite steep, isn't it? Let's take our time to descend safely. Yep, Roger. Safely! The music got quiet, too. Alpha node. I spoke with one of the excavators on the way down. Apparently, Baku Jaja cleared away the one fallen tree remaining by barreling through it. The wa that Wakulmon single handedly defeated someone possessed of such physical might is nothing short of remarkable. Still, we ought to proceed with caution. There's no telling what his wounded pride might compel him to attempt. I think, if I had to guess, we're done with Baku Jaja. <laughs> It's her, the first promise, her brother. Zoral Zhao, I think that's his name? He is gonna be the issue. Now I have visions of... Shadowbringers with this dungeon, uh, this area. 
Which honestly, Shadowbringers was really good. I like the story. I need to replay it one day. I think I'm going to replay the story of this game. Uh, of course, it's going to be out of order because I'm doing Dawn Trail right now. But I'm thinking of doing the Realm Reborn and so on, so on. Not uh, back to back. Jeez, no. There will be 100 videos before I'm done. But yeah. But I would like to replay things like Shadowbringers, Stormblood. Even though I hate Lee's, I think she's annoying. And maybe actually pay attention and actually not skip all the cutscenes in Endwalker. I watched mo uh, about 35% of the cutscenes. Aaronville said this traverse was dug to facilitate incursions into the forest above. Intentions notwithstanding, you have to admire the dedication. I ramble sometimes. Just tell me to shut up. It'll be a bit late telling me to shut up, but still, still. It'll make you feel better. I'm going this way. Also, I will be doing Aether Compass on my own time. You do not have to watch me run around trying to attune all the Aethers. There's nothing here. But this area being by itself here means there's going to be something here. They wouldn't just put this here, would they? Or is that where they would make camp before going off in and raiding? I don't... Hello. Someone has a black chocobo. I'm just walking. I'm enjoying this atmosphere. I'm a bit weird, I know. But when I I try to enjoy a story, I try to put myself in it. I take my... Oh, wow. Yeah, no, that's blue. Look at this thing. What a vibrant glow. Yeah, it's pretty. Oh, I'd love to fly through it, but I don't have flying yet. Alluring, isn't it? In more ways than one, take... In more ways than one, take my paring stone and hold it close to the glowing rock. Your paring stone? It's a paring stone. A paring stone, a tool used by gleers to identify certain geological properties. As you hold the paring stone in the soft glow, it affixes, affixes itself to the boulder with a surprising force. Paring stones are natural magnets, and that meteorite filled with iron. One may remnants of the top, the ancient meteor shower. The heterogeneous aether that emit, they emit causes the surrounding floor to glow unique hues, as you can see. Yeah, it's absolutely lovely. This area is the best looking one so far because of it. In this expansion, I should say. So far, we've been in the mountains with some fire and stuff, but this area is... Wow. So these glowing boulders came plummeting, plummeting down from the heavens. Vidral be merciful. Everyone get a sight of that blue. There you are. Yeah, she's noticing. Everyone look at that. Blue. It's all blue. A far cry from the upper forest indeed. This place is already so fascinating. I'm eager to hear what the people of Mamuk can tell us about it. Keep running. We're almost there. I got a feeling the first promise isn't just going to let us walk... I don't know what he's going to do. Crowl even mentioned that his ambitions will not allow... It, it, mm. I don't... Okay, we're mountain. Let's hear the theme of this area, shall we? Oh, it's the same song. Hasn't... Alright, we're almost there. I'm going to tune the crystal, and I'm going to do something real quick. I hope it's daytime. Oh, that's a bear. Oh, you get that as, um, uh, is, I think that's the mount you get when you successfully, well, not successfully, you tank as warrior in about 100 or 500 dungeons. I got to do that more with Gunbreaker, because you get a saber tooth. All right, I'm going to take you one place real quick. I'm sorry, but you have to hear the music here. I just have to hope that the day is there and not nighttime. This is a completely other world, by the way. Technically. All right. 
All right, let's get out of here. Watch this. Oh, this isn't the mount I was thinking of. Sorry. What I meant to say is... Watch this. All right, let's get out of here. You have to hear this theme. cycles yeah, I think you got a hint of the music here uh, history uh, I'll just be easier to go here but yeah I think now you've got a good feeling of what the music in this place is like when this game came in the store I remember when Shadowbringers came out holy cow everyone was mentioning this song in like the not the forums but the uh, FF14 discord server they would always be like yahee and all that the, the song's really good. And that's what Yachtel is reminding me of. Oh, the loading's taking a while. Come on, speed it up. Some people have to sleep soon. I'll just all tap out. <laughs> that's cute. Hmm. Okay, game. You want to move? Hmm, guess I'm gonna cut out this load. There we go. Holy cow, what happened? That took forever. Oh, where are the people? Hmm, internet might be slow. Yes. All right, we talked to everyone but Aaronville. And here we finally are, now to find the Elector. Got a feeling it's gonna be one that's not gonna wanna cooperate. I wonder what the final feat will be. Rather more quiet than expected. Now to see whether or not the Hamurok spheres were well-founded. As this is also, as this is also my first time visiting Mamook, I have no experience interacting with the locals. But given how Hamurok's parting words, I would advise a cautionary approach. Alright, what's the headwear look like? Please look decent. Okay, immediately just uh, display gear. I mean, it could be worse. I'm going to equip it, but I'm going to keep headwear hidden. Because uh, I actually do not care for that. It gives me a... Uh, I mean, I'll wear it, but hide it. City of Silence. Finally a Mamook. Waklamont is eager to make progress. Well, we all know what comes next. Let's find the Elector. Two streets seem to converge upon the plaza, so I propose we split our numbers between them. Given Hamu Ruck's guidance, I also suggest that we... Uh, we err on the side caution to move throughout the, the city in pairs. Aaronville can come with me and Alizé can go with Kryle. That leaves Bader to company Wakuma. If these arrangements are to everyone's satisfaction, then may we then may our respective searches prove fruitful. Hey, um, I don't think you got it, Wakuma. You're not supposed to leave until no, whatever. Yeah, I'm gonna do the Aether Compass in my own time. I completely forgot they moved it in there. It happens. Hey, a merchant. Oh, you don't want to trade with me. Got it. You can still hear me, right? And see me? Oh, they're all ignoring us. Okay. Oh, wow. Look at that. Hmm. Belligerent Bunewa. Bunewa. 
Yeah, they're just completely ignoring us. Your words may as well be ambient noise for all the the care that <laughs> for all the care the system pays you. Yep, off he goes. Kurt Dopro. Dopra? Dopro? Oh wow, okay. As we're gonna speak, the man abrupt abruptly turns and leaves. I got a feeling they're not happy that we uh kick Baku Jaja out of the running. Okay. Please tell me I have better luck. Uh, no. They didn't want to talk to me at all. No one will talk to you either. I was prepared for hard, hard, hard stares and harsh words, but this is something else. That building there looks like a shop, doesn't it? Let's go take a look. A, a merchant wouldn't ignore us. Sure. I already did. No. Fuck. I already did. He ignored me. It's not worth it. All right, maybe he'll talk to her. Ah, <sighs> okay. Uh, hello there. We'd like to ask you, son, if you don't mind. Move along, outsiders. We we're just trying to find someone. The Dawn Servant Selector. Could you tell us where they are? Uh, cold shoulder. I actually do favor this armor piece. I actually do. Like the helmet, though, no. I'm very picky with headwear. Probably too picky for my own good. But yeah, he didn't want anything to do with us. How are we supposed to find the elector if no one will speak with us? Oh, wait. Is that Elfinode? Or Kryle. Alpha, everyone, can you hear me? Come to the massive stone structure to the west of the city as quickly as you can. Uh oh. Uh, Baku Jaja's back. Maybe something with him? I don't think any of our teammates are in danger, or he would have said no. No, usually Alpha notes quick and simple to the point. What would it. No, okay, everyone's fine, but where's Elfinode in Aaronville? Up there. Okay, what's going on? It's gonna so do Baku Jaja easily. No, it's Kona. Never mind. Oh. Bested by a mere shade. Wait, what? Wait, 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 what? Sorocha. Papa? Wait. Not as you know him. What you see is an arcane manifestation of the Dawn Servant as he was in his prime. Oh, okay. I was really confused what was going on. Like, wait, what, 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 what? Oh, is that going to be the final trial? We have to fight that? The Channeler is Zerelja, Autark of Mamuk, and Elector for the Feet of the Brotherhood. Duli Yolar's mightiest warrior. Yet wisest you are not. You who spurned your retainer's aid when battling your betters. To prove oneself superior to blessed siblings by surpassing the shade of Galul Jarjar himself. That is the final feat. Oh. The first promise fought alone and fell short. But that is now the least of his concerns. Who could have let your foolishness end with your failure? But instead, you attempted to harm an anointed Alector. Wait, what? You actually tried to attack him? Soralja, as of this moment, you are no longer a claimant. I disqualify you from the right of succession. Oh, wow. Be gone 
from my sight. He's gonna kill his father. I got a feeling he's gonna kill This isn't over yet. I will be the one to reach the Golden City. Oh, well, I know you're all about you. You want a way to get to the Golden City. You don't care about him. When Zorocha was defeated, he tried to take the Keystone by force, but he was thwarted by Father Shade. Oh, hey! Ba oh, that's the real Bakujasha. My dearest child! Oh. Welcome home. Uh, he has bad news for you. This feat was made for you. Only blessed siblings could hope to defeat Gulul Jaja. Oh, he's not gonna be happy to hear the news. But ere we begin, I would see the fruits of your triumphs. Come, show me your tablets. He has two. What is this? Where are your keystones? Explain yourself, boy! No matter. Not all can be expected to go to plan. What keystones you lack... Oh, no. Wait. Wait. Baku, I know you're... You can easily take. No, I think Baku Jaja is going to be like, let's not do that. I... I tried. But, but, but I couldn't. I... Cannot... Beat her. You mean to tell me that you, glory of Mamuk, for whom all here have sacrificed, were defeated by your inferiors? <sighs> you are as useless as your siblings. A failure. I can now see where he got his attitude from. Leave and never return! You have no place here! <sighs> Let's go, brother. Worthless! Pathetic! This was our chance to claim sovereignty, and he ruins it! The father hates him, but the mother at least still cares for him and is giving him a prayer. But, when these stragglers fail, Gurul Jaja will be forced to extend his rule. And in the next rite of succession, we will present a better claimant. So come, stand before me, and fall. I won't do your trial. Oh? You intend to forfeit the right? Papa wants his successor to intimately understand the country he loves. Every step of my journey, I've learned something about our peoples and their cultures. I would do the same here in Mamuk. The Mamulja deserve nothing less, so your battle can wait.
I'm of the same mind. Father named you an elector for a reason. There must be something that he would have us learn. Hmm. Do as you will. But until you triumph over the shade, you shall proceed no further. I take it that's going to be a trial. Promise, I would speak with you. Meet me on the western outskirts. Yeah, I think that's Bakujaj. Yeah. I got a feeling we'll see him in the future, but he's not going to be so much as a headache. Especially getting outcast from his home by his own father, who is Dick. The first promise attended. Uh, promises attended just now. Did his words not strike you as strange? I will be the one to reach Gold City. As though he intends to venture there with or without Zoraja. Yep. I've heard about this channeling art before. Passed down through a certain clan. It employs arcane implements to produce a smoke from which the mage can conjure shade. That was a dr dramatic escalation. It's hard to believe Zoroja was bested in battle. I mean, he also did solo. The electors we have met thus far have had their peculiar peculiarity, arity, peculiarities. But each we have felt would judge claimants equally. This Zar Zer Zeril however, seems set in his belief that only the blessed siblings are worthy of the throne. Why would the Dawn servant name an openly biased man elector? Worrying over Zaryl J won't get us anywhere. That lady, on the other hand, was the first person to address us with any civ civil civility since we arrived. We should go meet her. Hear what she has to say. The western outskirts, right? Apparently, Scrape the Shroom is going. With an XP boost, to mind you. I mean... Let's do this. Well, am I supposed to do this? I think I'm done here. They're gonna turn the rest in. At least I think they are. There it is. Oh, we have a minute.
There we go. 15. Hopefully that's a lot. There we go. Oh, I gave me a decent amount of XP. Alright. Hopefully I didn't make a mess with, for people too much. Alright. Well, it's time to talk to the lady. Just gonna go around you. And then when this quest is, I will turn it in, I'm gonna probably call it. Yeah, I am intrigued. So yeah, Zor that hit is Zoral Jaws, the uh, guy is definitely gonna backstab and do his best to get to Golden City, but why does he want to get there so bad? I don't know. All right. If Zeril Jab is Boonway, then she is Habugun, Habugin then. Whatever her relation to Zaril Ja, I hope we can trust her. We could do with uh, uh, at least one ally in the city. Finally, a real conversation. She looks troubled. Well, I think her son was just kicked out of the city. To bid us this meet with her in private. This is both important and delicate matter. Alright. Let's see. Thank you for coming. My name is M Milaj Milaja. Here we may talk freely, away from prying eyes. And what is you what is it you wish to be uh, wished to talk about? Tell me. What do you think of the Mamook? Well, we don't have much to say yet. No one wants to speak with us. All who remain in the city are devoted to the traditional ways. I like your poncho. I like the design right here. They believe the blessed siblings are superior. The only that only they are worthy to lead the peoples of the continent. Most would not deign to address outsiders, deeming them beneath notice. Sounds like an ideal community so far as Bakluja, Baklujaja is concerned. I am tired, exhausted by this, this senselessness. There are others like me, but we dare not to speak our truth out loud. Yet now we have the opportunity to reclaim our agency. For you, have bested Bakul Jaja. Your Zebro inferior by all presumptions triumphed over our two-headed champion. This time, anyway. Next time, I might not be so lucky. Bakul Jaja is just that strong. I seriously don't understand why he cheats so much. It seems to me he'd do better if he trusted his own abilities. I think it has something to do with his father. He's desperate. Our blessed siblings have fallen before. Mola Jaja of the Silver Scales, for one. You travel across the salt in search of conquests, only to overcome. But no matter how the individual may falter, the people still believe in blessed siblings' suprem supremacy. Because of my father. He who united Torol under one rule, who in their eyes stands as a testament to the tradition's infallibility. Regardless of your father's virtuous intent, his great triumph has only fanned the flames of our people's obsession. However, as both his daughter and claimant to his legacy, your triumph could prove that Galu Jaja's true strength lies not in his birth, but in his character. In doing so, you give us the strength to renounce blessed siblings forever. I can understand wanting to forsake zeal zealotry, but isn't forsaken two-headed Mamul Ja going a bit far? You must decide that for yourself, whether the price we pay is worth an empty dream. I don't know. Like you said, we have to judge for ourselves. Well, we're about to learn about blessed siblings, but time for me to call it here. But yeah, I'm enjoying this, like always. Also, oh, one second, I want to sip of my coffee. Okay. 
I know that this uh, series mostly started me like trying to do voices, but I learned I'm no good with those, and that's why after like part one, I've done just reading my, with my normal voice. I do plan on keeping on doing that. And again, the camera thing was also an e episode, but that was more of a test. Maybe I'll bring it back when I do stuff, I don't know. But I am curious to see where this story is going to go, and I say that every time I come off this, because I don't know what else to say at the moment. Also, I'm tired. But I see, we're about at level 95. I'm level 95. I am about to get the last keystone. I'm gonna go around the city, learn about these people. And I'm going to get and get the. Uh, we're go I have a feeling that the shade is gonna be a trial. But then the question is, if it's a trial, am I teaming up with Kona again? If so, do only one of us get a keystone, or both of us? Then if it's both of us, I guess it's a race to see who finds the golden city first. But then, I got a feeling everything's gonna go down before or after we find that golden city. Huh. Yep. I'm, I'm gonna leave you here. I'm gonna go to bed. I'm gonna brush my teeth, go to the bathroom, go to bed, relax and all that. So I'll see you next time, and we'll probably get the last keystone and see where that goes from there. But until then, I'll see you. Good night.